What's going on everyone? TJ Fitness Deal News Reviews and together with me today Inspired Nutra Devastate White Cut Pre-Workout The Reformulation Listen people, this is the next generation of a super popular Steam Junkie type pre-workout that was launched probably like 18 months ago by Inspired Nutra. I'm gonna take you through the differences and through the label, I'm gonna tell you what I think about it. Then I'm gonna share with you my personal experience using this one. I got about 20 samples about a month ago. I'm a week into using this. I'm gonna tell you what I think about it. Then right towards the end of the video, I'm gonna give you my final verdict. Let's get right into it. Okay guys, so Inspired Nutra uh, really stormed into the supplement space, the pre-workout space specifically. About, I think two years ago, they launched uh, Devastate White Cut, which was really one of the first fully dosed DMHA, Araya, Caffeine, Alpha Yo, you know, like seriously, you would look at that label from like a couple of years ago, and you would be impressed. I mean, it looks like a full steam junkie type pre-workout, really well done. And I really liked that experience with it also at the time. It was, it was super, super solid. Now... Since then, they've launched several other products. They launched other uh, versions of, De of uh, Devastate. They launched Devastate Crimson a couple of, like a year ago, which I tried. Ah, that, was, that was not so, uh, such a good uh, experience. It was a bit too weak. Then they launched uh, some protein, ISO protein, BCAAs. Now they launched another version of Devastate, which is the Devastate Steam Rush, which to be honest, I'll tell you right here. I didn't try it yet, but on label, it looks way weaker than this. Um, anyway, long story short, they launched Devastate White Cut Next Generation probably like two months ago or something like that. The biggest difference between this one, this version, and the OG version of Devastate White Cut is the lack of DMHA. So they basically, like a lot of other companies, removed DMHA and they replaced it with Dynamite. Now, there's a couple of other changes and I'm going to take you through the label here today. But generally speaking, when you look at this thing, th this is um, obvious change. The DMHA removal replacement with uh, Dynamite. Anyway, let's look at the label for a second. I'm going to take you through it really quickly. We're going to start with the, uh, what's called here the Truth Matrix. So the Truth Matrix, which is a really, really, really cool name, which means shit. <laughs> and I'm going to talk about the Two Scoops version because... As you'll see, this is again, and if you've seen other reviews I've done on the channel, I'm seriously annoyed by the one scoop, two scoop type thing. I, I, I just don't get it. If you're, if you're buying this type of a pre-workout and you're paying $45 for, for, for a tub, you're, you know that you're not going to take one scoop of this thing because look at the numbers here, 175 milligrams of caffeine, Who's, which steam junkie would go for it? So seriously, guys, two scoops, and if someone wants to take a half a scoop, let him take a half a scoop. So anyway, so there's 20 serve here. Each serve is 18 grams, 20 serves of two scoops. Let's talk about what's in it. So the truth matrix, which is, a, like I said, a cool name, which means shit, has six grams of L-citrine. That is a lot of L-citrine. Three grams is, is just enough, but six grams is double overdosed. Then you have glycer pump at, at 2.5 grams. So glycer pump is a great ex uh, ingredient for get muscle volume going. It you know, gets water into your muscle, attracts nutrients. You're going to feel swole. Glycer pump is the better version of glycerol. And I like what they've done here. So as far as pumps, you have a combination of the 6 grams of l citrulline and 2.5 grams of glycer pump. That is, that is enough to get you pumped, for sure. That is... I, L-citrulline by itself for me doesn't do a lot and it doesn't matter how much you put in it. L-citrulline plus glycer pump is going to get you pumped, is going to get me pumped. Personally, I would say take down this L-citrulline from 6 grams to 3 grams or 4 grams and put some agmatine because that's going to make a huge difference as far as the experience with the agmatine, 1 gram of agmatine. But anyway, that's what they have here. It's okay. Then you have 3.2 grams of beta-alanine and you have 2 grams of taurine. That's going to help both with endurance and muscle pumps. And obviously beta-alanine is going to get you tingled, which we all like. So that's enough with that. So that's okay. That's solid, right? For a pump formula, that's solid. Definitely as far as a steam junkie pre-workout, this is a good one. Then let's talk about the perform matrix, which you, because this is really what we care about here. The steam junkie version of this, uh, the steam junkie part of this label. You have 350 milligrams of caffeine. On top of that, you have 300 milligrams of dynamite, but it's not dynamite. 40% of it is dynamite, so 120 milligrams of dynamite. So this combination is what you're seeing people replacing DMHA with. So it used to be caffeine and uh, DMHA, now it's caffeine and dynamite. Uh, 
uh, Inspired Neutra actually kept the Araya Gerenesis here at 200 milligrams, which is really cool. So they didn't go all the way with removing everything. They did keep the Araya Gerenesis. So basically, when you look at the focus and steam uh, part, which used to be caffeine DMHA Araya, now it's caffeine dynamine. Araya, all of them will dose, 350 milligrams of caffeine, 120 milligrams of dynamine, and then a 200 milligrams of Araya is, is well dosed. On top of that, you'll have the 100 milligrams of theobromine, and then you're gonna get like 60 milligrams of uh, synephrine, and listen to this, people. Four milligrams of alpha yohimbin. <laughs> so if uh, Erez White, the OG Erez White with 3.5, I think it had milligrams of alpha yo caused you the like that feeling like you want to die then just imagine what four milligrams is going to make you feel but i have a surprise for you at the end of this review when i talk about my personal experience so stay tuned it's not what you think anyway as far as package this is well dosed if you if you went through the path of deciding to remove the mha and replace it with something like dynamite so dynamite by the way has some similarities to dmha in the way that it's supposed to uh you know to act like as far as energy prolonged energy some mood elevation and focus for sure it's not the mha just that we're set it's very hard to get the mha type feeling with dynamite i'm not saying it's impossible with other ingredients in the package definitely you have araya here but it's not the same the dosage though is on point okay the dosage is on point what you're supposed to 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 look at the label here and and imagine that would happen is that you're gonna get hit really hard that's how it reads Think about this, all this caffeine, then all this synephrine that's going to increase body rate metabolism and going to get you like sweating and hot. And then four milligrams of alpha yo. Personally, for me, the combination of alpha yo plus caffeine in significant amounts, yeah, I, I, I think that there's a one to one relationship with feeling that sense of urgency and rush. So this is a super, super promising label for a steam junkie. Let's talk about my personal experience because this is what matters. Starting with flavor. So the flavor I tried is, it is an okay flavor. You know my, I don't know if I've said that before on a review, but let me say this once and I'll repeat it later on. Listen guys, as far as flavor, if there's a great flavor, that's a plus, a small plus, but it's a plus. If it's a disgusting flavor, that is a huge minus because you're just gonna, you know, you're gonna be afraid of taking your pre-workout. If it's just okay, then that's okay. And, and that's what I expect. The watermelon on ice here is okay. And, and let's move on with our life because it doesn't matter. Anyway, let's talk about personal experience. So listen, the experience is very different than the label. Honestly, just very different. It is a good experience. Let me start by saying it's a good experience. You're going to get pumped. You're going to feel the energy. You're going to get some mental focus like that. Not tunnel vision, not tunnel vision. You're going to get some mood elevation, not crazy mood elevation. You're, but, but you're definitely going to get energized. It is going to take about 15, 20 minutes to kick in. Pumps are super solid. The, I'm, I'm a bit missing like the muscle power pieces like betaine, creatine, HCL. But put that aside, doesn't really matter. It's, it's not a big uh, factor when I choose a pre-workout. As far as the steam experience, you're going to get a good kick. You're going to get energized. You're going to feel in the zone. You're going to get good focus. But there's no rush, which is very hard to explain looking at this label here. I just, I wasn't rushed. I, and I like the rush feeling. If, you, if you're the type of person that, wanna, you know, after you take the pre-workout, you just want to feel like you have to throw stuff around. You want to get that sense of urgency. I didn't get it, which is really strange. Like the label here on paper is way stronger than a lot of other labels that I definitely feel the rush with, like Ares or uh, pre, Pre-Stack Extreme or a couple of, or, you know, uh, the, the latest one I reviewed, the Galvanized by a Clinical App. You definitely feel the sense of urgency, good sense of urgency. So the mood elevation, I didn't expect to get. They took out the DMHA. So, I mean, it's very hard to get like crazy mood elevation, but I was expecting to get rushed. All that alpha yo, which brings me to the last part. If you're concerned about alpha yo, I have no clue how Inspired did it, but the four milligrams of alpha yo, there's zero side effects. Zero side, I felt more side effects with two milligrams of alpha yo that I'm feeling here with four milligrams, zero side effects. Now, I'm not saying if you're super sensitive to alpha yo, maybe you'll feel it, but I didn't feel anything, anything, like definitely compared to Ares or other pre-workouts that the alpha yo experience is super intense. Anyway, long story short, I think that Inspired Neutra delivered on a good pre-workout. This is a really good pre-workout. If, you, if you're, one, like I said, in a one to 10 scale of steam junkies, 10 is the people that like that Ares, APS Meso, DMAA, Original, uh, Pre-Stack Extreme, Gov like you want to be rushed, you want sense of urgency, then this is, this is a seven and a half. 
If you're the type of person that says, I want good energy, I want to be in the zone, I want to get focused, I want to work out, I, I don't want to feel like rage and angry and just, you know, like like tunnel vision and all that stuff, then, then this, is, this, is, this is a good fit. And definitely if you can take Alpha Yo that actually feels like Alpha Yo, then this is a good fit. Other than that, personally for me, I missed... I miss that sense of urgency because I love that sense of urgency. Listen, people, if this video was helpful in your Steam Junkie pre-workout decision-making process, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel to see more reviews like this because this is what we do here. We help you make smart decisions about the supplements that you buy. And if you want to save money on this one or any other fitness uh, supplement, listen, I'm going to put a link in the description below to the price comparison page on Fitness Deal News where you can find the best prices from all over the web for Devastate White Cut or any other supplement. And that's it.